اللهم دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر السحرة ومن شايعهم ومن الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى ودين الحق ليذر على دينه كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد Mankind loves the beauty of the car, the beauty of the garden, the beauty of the house, the beauty of uh, children, wife, husband, uh, the list goes on. They just love beauty. But these beauty I mentioned, the car, the house, these, this one, mankind can build it with their own hands. But the only one which they cannot do it is the nature of mankind, the beauty of mankind. When Allah says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ التَّقْوِيمِ I've created man in a best shape or form. This is Allah Rabbul Izza, فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنَ الْخَالِقِينَ He's the best of the Creator. Allah created man in a very beautiful way. And man, through envy and jealousy, goes and wants to destroy the person who's been given beauty by Allah Rabbul Izza. Today I'm going to talk the black magic of distorting beauty. Before I go there, let me tell you something. Evil eye and hasad hates beauty by the decree of Allah Rabbul Izza. Evil eye and hasad. Evil eye, man has no control over it. Hasad, man has no control over it. But the person who has hasad inside him lose himself. But the magic is the person has control to control himself, but because of the evil within the individual, he cannot control himself. Then he goes and seek help and want to replicate by the powers of Allah by asking the devil to distort or to distort, distort the beauty of somebody. Most of the time you will see this Sihru Tashwi Jamal, black magic of distorting beauty, happening to boys and girls. Most of the time girls, a lot of girls, specifically when they are young, they are going to get married and things like that. But there's no guarantee on that because when they do the magic, they, they don't pick. The envy person, it could be someone's wife. Or it could be someone's husband who is beautiful, or who is handsome, or who, and the wife is beautiful. And they go and want to cause harm to those individuals, so they separate through that. Because when the person's beauty has been hit, what happens? The husband or the wife will have doubts in the head now to look at the ugly of the individual, and then eventually it will break up, the marriage will break up. Or if it was hit on a, on a woman who is young and is looking to get married, marriage will not take place because every husband, every man comes, will see the woman is ugly. If it happened to the boy and the boy have these, it's the same. No woman will want to marry an ugly person. Now, why is that? Normally it happens from these low-life people uncles, low-life uncles want to do it to their sister's son or their brother's son or auntie want to do it to their brother's son. The list goes on. These low-life people, because these, these, these are very low, low, low-life people. They don't think good for anybody else. Now, black magic of distorting beauty, Sihru Tashwi Jamal, they do it in a certain way. How do they do that way? They, the individual who is envious and goes to ask the magician for help, he get asked by the magician for certain things, specifically to do with the picture. Picture is the most frequent magic they use when they want to damage. Now, if they don't get the picture, they use doll, with any property belonging to that person. 
And what do they do? They bury it in the grave or in the mountains or they make the individual eat. And then the individual will have problems. And they use one of the most wickedest and wicked jinn. Who's that? None other than the snake jinn. The snake jinn goes and stays in the face and cause problem in the face. So much so problem that you will feel for the individual who has been hit by black magic of distorting beauty. Sihru Tashwi Jamal. This magic is from the branches of the magic. Any magic is not good because whoever goes there seeks the aid of the devil and the devil plot is bound to fail. So whoever's been hit by this, inshallah, I ask Allah to remove the difficulty the individual is going through. What are the symptoms and the sign of this? Normally, is always three times when he is magic. During the sleep, during the salah, and during the daily living. The individual will struggle. Because what happens is they attach someone else there to make it difficult for that person. And that person will find it very, very difficult. Before I go to the symptoms, the reason why people resort into this type of magic is because of jealousy and envy, none other than anything else. Only this one, jealousy and envy. That's it. And the person goes and resort to black magic of destroying the individual. And when it comes to general symptoms, loss of hair, so much loss of hair, so much. And pimples, wrinkles, blackness, dryness, lips dryness, Teeth problem, nose dryness, eczema. Some people will find them, they have eczema, spots of the eczema, black spots on the, all over the body, or red spots all over the body. The person will be getting thoughts that they are ugly, but in fact, it's the opposite. The person is a very beautiful person. And you'll find people come and commenting and saying, Oh, you are very ugly, but in fact, it's not. It's the opposite. The individual is very beautiful or very handsome men or beautiful women. But because of the genie who's there giving the thoughts to the other individual and the other individual utters it. And the person who's being inflicted also get these thoughts. Now, how to move forward from calamity like this? The individual needs to seek istiana towards Allah, number one. Number two, the individual needs to be praying five times and adhkar morning and evening. Number three, the individual needs to read Surah Al-Baqarah, full and Surah to Yusuf together, or just read Surah to Yusuf full. The person needs to read seven times. Surah to Yusuf, ayah number 31. The person needs to read seven times and blow on himself and get banana and olive oil, mush, mush the banana and mix it with the olive oil and read that verse seven times with Fatiha and Ayatul Kursi and apply in your face morning and evening. Or get honey with the rose water, mix it together and make it thick and apply in your face. Make sure you read Surah to Yusuf and that ayah, inshallah, and make loads of dua and apply in your face. Now, what will happen with these two treatment? Uh, banana, when you mix it with the, uh, olive oil, sometimes it may hurt the eyes and the eyes you start feeling itchy and pain. Do not stop. It's not you, it's a jinni, because I have heard people who say in this, when they put olive oil in their face and they feel itchiness or dryness or tired, or something, something will happen. So do not stop. Carry on doing this treatment. Abu Yahya from the Ruqa Talk. Wa akhiru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursalin. Wa alhamdulillah rabbi. Ta yatabayyana lahum anahu al-haq.